Confetti cannons are a lot of fun, but it isn't always convenient to have someone set them off manually. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a remote-controlled confetti cannon that you can set off from anywhere with the push of a button. First, the obligatory safety note. Air cannons can be dangerous, so be careful, use common sense, and never point them at anyone. Alright, now back to the project. In this example, we're going to start by making a basic air cannon with a manual valve, then we'll modify it to make it remote controlled. To start, we'll need one piece of wide diameter PVC pipe to act as the air chamber, and a smaller piece of PVC pipe to act as the barrel. Then you'll also need a cap fitting for the larger pipe, a reducer fitting that can connect the two pipes together, and a ball valve that will fit the smaller pipe. The first thing that you need to do is cut off a small piece of the smaller pipe. This will let you connect the reducer fitting to the valve. Next you want to test fit all the parts together. If you're happy with how everything fits together, then you're ready to glue them. On each of the connecting surfaces, first apply a coat of purple PVC primer, then apply a layer of PVC cement. Press the pieces together firmly and turn them a quarter turn. Hold them together for at least 30 seconds. Do this for all the connecting surfaces. Let them sit until the cement is fully cured. The last two parts that we need to add are the air valve and the pressure gauge. Make a hole in the side of the air tank that's a little smaller than the threads on the pressure gauge. Then, wrap the threads in plumber's tape and carefully screw them into the hole. Repeat this for the air valve. Now you have a basic air cannon. This will work just fine for shooting confetti or anything else. But we can make it better. To turn a regular air cannon into a remote-controlled air cannon, all you need to do is add an electric sprinkler valve and a remote-controlled relay. Start by cutting the barrel a few inches away from the manual valve. Now you need to add a few more adapter fittings. In my case, I added another reducer fitting and an adapter with 1-inch female threads. Attach these with PVC primer and cement, just like before. Once the cement is fully cured, wrap the threads of the sprinkler valve in plumber's tape and screw the parts together. The last part to add is the control circuit. Start by connecting the remote controlled relay circuit to a 12 volt battery pack. Connect one wire from the sprinkler valve to the positive power terminal and connect the other wire to the normally open terminal on the relay. Lastly, add a jumper wire between the negative power terminal and the common terminal on the relay. Now your remote controlled confetti cannon is complete. It's time to try it out. Start by putting some confetti in the barrel. Then connect your pump to the air valve and pressurize the air chamber. Increase the pressure slowly, checking for leaks as you go. I recommend staying below 40 psi. Finally, position the cannon where you want it to fire, then pull out the remote and press the button. The cannon will fire a huge burst of confetti all around. But you don't have to stop at just confetti. You can fire just about anything that will fit in the barrel. I've even used this kind of air cannon to make explosion effects and blow up sandcastles at the beach. Use your imagination and have fun. And remember, be safe. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.